What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are here in the garage again with the Gallardo and I've got a quick little DIY or review video for you guys today. I said it's the middle of summer. I'm out enjoying the car pretty much every weekend lately, so I'm not tearing in any major projects. But it's ironic because I had ordered a couple little parts this week that had just come in and somebody else had posted a similar question regarding exactly this in one of the Lamborghini Gallardo Facebook groups. So let me show you what I got. All right, so if you guys own or are looking at, maybe you're in the market for an older Lamborghini, Ferrari, it's just a matter of time before you deal with sticky buttons or wore out buttons and switches. Something similar to this. So if you guys follow the channel, I posted a video on this. This is actually an Audi unit that I purchased for like $50 off of eBay. And this was my original on off switch, which these are all identical to the Lamborghini Gallardo. So I swapped out for a much cleaner on off button. Uh, unfortunately, this entire piece I discovered is not a direct complete bolt in part from the Audi, although it is an incredibly good donor part if you guys need any wore out buttons or things for this. Check out that video if you need to. But one of the other common things in the Gallardo are all these buttons, particularly the reverse button here. Uh, they get jabbed out, you know, with your fingernails, oils, and things like that. So it's just a matter of time before they look like that. And it can really make your interior look kind of trash. Even the rest of this car is in great condition for being a 20-year-old car. But little things like that just drive my OCD nuts. Uh, particularly, these are all in really great shape still. These are all original. I haven't messed with these at all. Uh, this one here was in pretty rough shape. And it was hard for me, and I'm sure some of you may be in the same boat, to justify the expense of a button and the tedious labor of breaking apart the column, pulling things apart uh, just to replace the switch, just for aesthetics, because it works just fine. Not that it's incredibly difficult to do, but a little bit tedious, and the more you pull things apart that are 20-year-old plastic, the greater chance you have of breaking things. So in order to do that, I came up with a couple of more simple ways to try and remedy the wore out buttons and I'll show you guys what I've done. So this one right here is actually a vinyl overlay of the wore out switch. Let's see if I can get a light on it and show it to you guys a little bit better. So this is option number one for giving the buttons a refresh. These are made in USA. They purchased them off of uh, eBay. I can't remember the seller link. I purchased these a while ago. I believe it was roughly $25 for, for two sets and you know these have everything you need, Corsa mode for the later model LP cars uh, and so they'll fit anything from 04 pretty much to 2010 and as you guys can see I've, I've used the, the reverse button and these are a pretty thick quality, uh, decent little decal, they're not a cheap little, little vinyl, they're real very matte finish if that's what you're looking for real similar to what OEM came in. And like I said, I, I used the reverse button and I'll show you why I'm not completely happy with it. It was the most affordable option. And from a distance, the average person will not be able to tell it's a decal without looking at it closely. So it's probably hard to tell in the car. The issue with these is these buttons are slightly convex. They're not a completely flat surface. And I've used heat, pressure, different tools, everything I could to try and get that reverse button decal to lay completely flush. And it looks pretty good, like I said, from 10 feet away, but as you guys can tell, it's not completely flush all around the edges. And another product popped up the other day, so I am going to rip this off and we'll compare that product to this one. Like I said, this works, it's the most affordable option. It doesn't look terrible. Uh, definitely looks better than the scuffed off switch which you'll see when I get that decal off of there, exactly what it looked like. But the other option I picked up was these new carbon overlays. So I could be wrong, but I believe these are a newer item. I don't recall seeing these when I searched and found the decals before, but in comparison, these are the little carbon fiber overlays. They're roughly a little over $100 for a set. You can get them you know, with the Corsa mode for the LP cars. They actually had them in red, white, green, Italian flag colors and things like that and they're pretty much just a carbon overlay instead of the decal though they are still similar in the sense they are just put on with 3m adhesive so 
if the button were to fail, I see no reason why you couldn't peel these off, you know, put fresh adhesive on there and reuse these on a new switch if you needed to in the future. So these come with instructions, pretty basic. I've left these out in the sun to get them a little bit warm. You can use a heat gun, blow dryer. Be careful about putting too much heat on them. You could damage them. I certainly wouldn't take a torch to them or anything like that and warm them up. Uh, these were purchased from topspeedauto.com. There are a couple different sellers on eBay that sell them as well. Got to assume they are the same supplier. They are pretty much priced evenly across the board as far as I could tell. There may be someone else out there selling them. I haven't done a whole lot of research. So the only concern with these that I have is that the factory switches are illuminated. And I'm not sure how well the illumination is going to come through. I don't know if those letters and the sport mode spelled out there will illuminate once these are on or not. And same with the vinyl decal as well. It does illuminate, but it's definitely a little bit more on the dull side. Show you guys real quick. If you're not familiar. So there's what they look like stock, illuminated. We'll see how that compares once the carbon overlay is on there. Uh, personally, I, I really don't care if they illuminate or not, but just know that is something we may lose by sticking these on there. So the cool thing about these compared to that decal and what I'm hopeful for, and it's hard to tell, maybe you guys can see when I lay them on a flat surface, I test fit a couple of these on there, just kind of let them sit there. These are convex, so they fit the, the curvature of those buttons perfectly compared to getting that flat vinyl decal overlay, like I said, to conform well and stick flat to the convex button. So let's get that uh, wore out reverse button off. I'll start with that first. I'll show you guys what it looked like before I put the, the vinyl overlay on, and then we'll put the uh, carbon overlay on here and see what it looks like. All right, well, as you guys can see, the little vinyl decal, other than where the edges weren't stuck down and conforming to the convex portion of the button, it was adhered incredibly well. And what it taught me is that the front part of the switch will just pop off of there, and that it might actually make this easier to do right out here and get this centered well instead of doing it in the car. Just be mindful if you pop that off, there is a tiny little spring there. I may you know, stick that in the back there with a dab of super glue when I put it back together just so it doesn't fall out of place and it just snaps right in place of the button there so I guess in theory if you did buy a new switch you could just swap out the face of the button without pulling the entire thing out of the dash so obviously as you guys can see the R on the reverse button is pretty well wore off and gone so I'm just going to use a little exacto knife to peel off the 3M adhesive like I said this has been sitting in the sun so it's already a little bit warm and I'll kind of Hopefully adhere it to the tip of the exacto knife here. Just so I can try to delicately place it about where I think I want it before I fully adhere it to that button. We use a little bit of pressure, and as you guys can see, that's pretty well a perfect fit on there. Lines up real nice. And that's the finished product. Let's see if we can get this thing snapped back into the car and see what it looks like. All right, so of course it popped out much easier than it went in. Took me a second to look in there. There's actually a couple little flat portions there where these little clips go in and kind of pushes in a little twist and turn into place. Not so bad. I wish I would have known that would have come out. It would have, might have made putting the decal on a little bit easier but live and learn anyway there's the final product I'm super happy that actually looks really really good looks a whole lot better than the vinyl decal overlay in my opinion so let's get the others on so it is important to note real quick though you guys didn't see me do it on camera because someone inevitably will feel like a smart ass and point it out I did wipe the buttons down with a microfiber and alcohol get off any finger oils or oily detail products or anything that may be on these buttons for maximum adhesion. So I'll go ahead and get these on there real quick. Pretty simple and straightforward as you guys saw. And we'll see what the final product looks like.
Now there's the final product guys quick easy five minute installation uh, though there was nothing wrong with these buttons what, what a simple way to give it a real refresh they they literally look brand new uh, super pleased with the reverse button as well turned out really good looks really nice in the car uh, kick off the light here real quick unfortunately like I said just based off of looking at these we have lost the illumination with the button you kind of see it glowing there behind it but there is top of the button is no longer illuminated so if that's going to be an issue for you just know that's what you're going to get with these so hopefully some of you guys find this video helpful like i said pretty quick and simple uh but could save you guys a lot of a headache and a little bit of experimentation on your dime when you can do it on mine in my opinion for 25 dollars these are a doable option they certainly look better than the wore out buttons uh, personally i believe the carbon fiber are a much better upgrade i think they look a whole lot better though they are four times the price and i also learned by trial and error that if you did want to buy and replace just the head of that reverse button you can just pop it off as you can see without tearing apart or removing any of the dash so Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully somebody finds it helpful. Appreciate each and every one of you guys liking, sharing, and watching the videos. Stay tuned, guys. More car stuff to come this summer. We'll see you on the next one.